to the tarot show. <laughs> I didn't realize it, but um, something was going on where it wasn't recording. Uh, and I did all of this. <laughs> I suddenly realized it's not recording. So let's start from the beginning again. I'm reading for Cancer today. This is now going to be a reading for every sign, starting with the sign that we're in, which is Cancer. Um, water sign, obviously. Um, this is going to be from the 20th of June till the end of July, I'd say, maybe into August, depending on when I get back to doing another one. So about six months, six weeks to two months, this is going to show you. It's not timeless in general. It's more about the next uh, two months. So up until the middle of August, probably, uh, I'd say. So probably the 20th of August, as we're in the 20th of June. So this is a reading for cancer, and I'm going to do a different reading for all of you. I'm just going to have a, a sip of my smoothie quickly. Mm, it's wonderful. It's got beetroot. It's got my own ice that I created from healthy water. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. It's everywhere. I'm going to do a review of the blend jet at some point. Hope you enjoy moving on TV. Hope you enjoy the timeless ones. Anyway, I, I chose the cards anyway because it wasn't recording. So these are the cards that I picked up for you. Right, four of Wands, which is celebration with friends. Could be Twin Flame. Uh, the next one we took was Deception of some kind. Could be that you're deceiving yourself or that somebody else is deceiving you. There's some deception going on in your life or trying to get away with things and you can't get away with them anymore. The next one we chose was the Ten of Wands, which shows that you've been under a lot of burden. This is up until now, of course, yeah? Uh, or you're still under a lot of burden, and so I'm going to help you to find ways how to move on. Lots of burdens coming up have been coming up in the, the last couple of months. But you can see there's an end to it. You can see the house is there, even though you're burdened. You can see you're walking towards the future. You're walking towards something. Queen of Wands is upside down. Uh, it could be that there's too many things going on in your head that you want to manifest, but you're not manifesting them. Uh, it could be fertility for some of you. Um, that is not coming at the right time. It could be a pregnancy that's not coming at the right time. For you and um right the fool has come up and for some of you you're either taking too much time to play the fool or some of you are not having any fun at all so the fool has come up to show that you need to have some fun if you're on here watching this or maybe you're having too much fun whoops it's all about balance the eight of swords has come up and um, when I look at all the cards together, I'll be able to help you in some way to find a bigger picture. But the Eight of Swords has come up to show that you're either walking away from self-sabotage and you can see clearly and you don't feel trapped anymore, or you're more trapped than you ever were before and you can't see anything changing. And that's because the Ten of Swords has come up upside down. Either you're, you're completely walking away from something in your life whether it's work, romance, or a relationship, or anything, and you know it's finished, and everyone around you knows it's finished. You can't save it. It's a massive change. And also, I think the Eight of Wands has come up upside down because of this as well, to show you too much has been going on. There's too much coming at you at, all at the same time. And that also came up, at, hang on, that came up with the Queen of Wands upside down, which is very interesting. Because your manifestations are not coming from being grounded. They're not coming from a sense of responsibility. They're coming from all over the place without focus, without clarity. And you need to bring that back. You need to also bring back the feminine side in you. So what I'm getting here is what you need to be doing is you need some of you that, because you've got these cards that say most of you that are watching, in order to get the manifestations that you deserve grounded and focused in order to stop yourself sabotaging 
in order to understand from the heart that you are sabotaging your life and to be able to see the, the full picture, you are not, you, this is the beautiful card of celebration, but you're not getting it because you're not having any fun. You've forgotten how to have fun. You're so bogged down too much with the endings and the changes and everything that hasn't gone right. You're so bogged down by all the issues that have caused you to self-sabotage with the deception of the mind or people around you. You're so bogged down with all of the stuff that is coming at you in your mind too much. And you're so bogged down that you cannot be the queen of wands the right way up. So you cannot manifest in a grounded, healthy way. And as I say, this could also mean that there's a pregnancy or fertility that you've manifested something and it's not in the right time. It's only going to cause more burdens. And you need to have fun, my darling. You need to have more fun. And those of you that are not having any fun, but are having too much, well, you need to be more grounded. Those of you that are celebrating too much, need to be more grounded in order to create the queen of wands the right way up okay so that that's kind of what's going on at the moment so i want to pull some cards now to find out what can my lovely cancerians do in the next two months in order to help themselves to stop this sabotage to have more fun to be more grounded with their manifesting, but also to, to have more fun, balance. You see, again, this card has come to give you balance. Four of Wands is also to show you balance. As you can see, the two, the two elevens, twin flames, yes. A, a better relationship with you, not just twin flame thing, but Balance, you see the balance, the celebration, the balance. Okay, so how are we gonna help you? How are we gonna help you in the next two months to find that balance, to get, have more fun, to be a bit more playful and loyalty as well. This card has come up also to show some more loyalty to friends, to those that care about you because you tend it feels like, because you've had so much to deal with, you've had deception, and so it's hard for you to trust. You've had self-sabotage that went on for quite a long time, and now you're only starting to wake up from it. And something has ended. It, it's like, it feels like you've been stabbed in the back so many times, and you know it's finished. But in order to come out of all of this and create the balance of celebration, you need to have fun. That's the first thing. I get the feeling that a lot of you have forgotten how to enjoy yourselves. It's bogged down. It's bogged down. And you've lost, in a, I'd say a bit, you've lost your heart. Because the Queen of Wands is upside down. She's full of heart. She's full of heart and she's full of manifesting from balance. Again, balance from the heart, you've been let down. It could be that you've been let down by what you thought was your twin flames as well. Those relationships you thought were going to help you have let you down, have not given you that love that you felt you needed, your inner child. Let's see how, how can I help you? How can we help you, spirit? How can we help? these lovely Cancerians, because a lot of you have gone into your shell and you're rejecting the love. You're rejecting the love. You're not, you're doing your best to manifest, but you're not getting the results because you're rejecting the love and you're not having enough fun. And even though we're in lockdown, there are lots of ways to have fun. What I can see as well around you, you have a lot to celebrate. You have some of your families, you have a lot to celebrate and it's time to really come out of this. 
Okay, stop sabotaging your relationships. There's a lot of self-sabotage going on here and it's finished. It needs to end in order for you to move on. Okay. Right, let's see what else we can do to help you. Right, we've got the four swords upside down. Some of you are not resting and meditating enough. And some of you are just not laying down life, letting go and moving on. Okay, you need to rest because it's upside down. You're not laying down your swords. You're not laying down your actions. You're not thinking about your communication enough sometimes. Swords are about action and communication. There's a hell of a lot of, um, let me see, got a lot of Leo in here. Uh, Leo, Aries, fire sign, Sagittarius. And we've got quite a lot of, um, we've got some Libra and Aquarius Gemini in here. And it feels that like some of the deception is coming from Libra, Aquarius or Gemini signs. So if you know any Libra and Aquarius or Gemini, there's been some deception here. And you need to come out of this deception and start using your own minds, okay? Stop the self-sabotage. Start using your own strengths. You're strong. Find your uniqueness and your strength inside. And, and you know, try and find that. Okay, what have we got here? We've got the hangman. So, yeah, meditation. Time to take time. Some of you are meditating, and that's good. Time to reflect. Don't take everything that everyone tells you as, as, as the truth. Some of you, I'd say, a very sensitive sign. And some of you have not had the time in your life or the opportunity to develop your, yourself enough. You've been deceived, you've been lied to. Now's the time to reflect, to stand back a bit and to look at the full picture. Uh, you've lost your trust and it's hard for you. It's very hard for you to trust. So reflection meditation stand back and celebrate celebrate here we go again celebrate the friends you have there's so much love in your life but you're not seeing it yet. so you need to stand back because you've had so much heartache and because you've been stabbed in the back so many times so many times you've been burdened it's coming to an end the burdens are coming to an end you need to have some more fun be a bit more playful have fun with your friends celebrate a little bit stop being so bogged down all the time because you have been hurt and you're deceiving yourself again you're deceiving yourself if you think that walking away and shutting everyone off um and not reflecting on good and the gray bits, you're deceiving yourself a lot here. You're deceiving yourself. Okay, let's have a look. Another one. Yeah, you've got the six of wands. The celebration is coming. You are going to get what you have been working with for a long time. And isn't that interesting? You've got the six of wands. <laughs> Beautiful. You've got the six of wands and you've got the four of wands. The beautiful, two beautiful, beautiful manifesting cards. Beautiful, letting the Leo in, the fire, the passion. Two beautiful cards there for you for the next couple of months. It's coming. If you can come out of that self-sabotage and reflect and don't tar everyone with the same brush just because you've been told by others. You can be a bit gullible sometimes and vulnerable and you do listen a lot to other people and don't go inside and take stock. You might need to do something that's called the step four. Step four in the 12 steps is taking out a piece of paper and writing down everything, all your resentments, all your fears, all your rage, all your character good and bad difficult character defects and good stuff about you 
That's a good idea. Reflecting on everything and taking back your responsibility. What do you do that's not so nice? You know? Um, whoops. <laughs> are you pushing people away? Because if you are, you will not get the results you need. And it's interesting how you can sometimes see that in others. You can see others self-sabotaging. Here's a massive self-sabotage. You can see it in others, but you cannot see it in yourself. You cannot see it in yourself. So I'm saying you need to reflect. You need to write down everything. Step four in the 12 steps is a really good one. We start with, I'm angry at this person or because this didn't work out. I did you demand four steps. Uh, step four, a lot of the time I've done step four, a lot of the time, so many times, and I've always been able to move on from it. The biggest one I did was before I met my husband, I did a massive step four in relationships and I looked at my responsibility. I was the one who was choosing these people that were hurting me. Now, it's very easy for us to see that in another person because the universe is showing you your mirrors and this is the awakening. So you have been shown your mirrors very clearly, those that you feel may be sabotaging themselves, but you're not seeing it in yourself. And until you see it in yourself by writing down the fact that you are responsible for everything that happens in your life, you can't move out of it. Right, what else? Again, the Six of Pentacles. Oh, okay, I'm going to, I'm not going to take any more right away here because you've got the Six of Pentacles, you've got the Six of Wands, and this is showing me you are generous. Some of you are very generous people, but guess who you're not generous towards yourself? You think you are. A lot of the time but you're not you can be very generous some of you some of you won't be generous in any way you hold back you won't open your heart you won't let yourself let the love flow because you're so scared because you've been hurt so many times so let's have a look so these are the scenarios and as i say you need to reflect do a step four step four would, would really help you it's a, a moral inventory of everything. So I'm using that in here now. I'm going to look at the Angel Oracle deck and see what we can pick up for you here. Angel, Tree Angel Oracle deck. This is a new one I've got. See how we can put this together for you, Cancer. As I said, what I'm picking up here for some of you is a step four, a moral inventory of writing everything down. Just sit with yourself and write down, oh, that person, I'm really angry with that person. Why, what is it? Oh, that person really hurt me. Okay, what do they do? I've done this, but then you look at your responsibility. I chose that person. Why did I choose that person? What did I learn from that person? You know, and, and am I being fair here? To this person or is this person just teaching me something that I don't want to look at and I'm seeing that in you and a lot of you go into your shell when you feel guilty and you seem to pile on that guilt a lot by carrying on patterns and then you feel even worse nothing is your fault this is not your fault it's just the conditioning the attachments and the way you've been hurt it's hard to trust. I know it's hard for you to trust. Hard for you to trust. A lot has happened. Let's see what tree angel we get for you. We get the apple. We get the apple. Mm -hmm. Now let's see from my intuition. The apple is usually about temptation. Mm -hmm. It's a mixture of the chakra, <laughs> mixture of the sacral chakra and your emotions and um, it feels like some of you are being tempted in one way or another but you are not able to understand that in a way where it's not harming you and so you go into your shell and you disappear and you hide away 
it feels that there's a lot of temptation around you because to do with the sacral and to do with your emotions. Okay, and there's a lot of guilt and unresolved issues around sacral. Of course, the apple is Eve, the waking up. Okay, it's time to wake up, Cancers. Time to wake up. You know, come out of that little boy, little girl attitude um, that you were hurt. This is the tree of knowledge. It's time for you to learn about moving on and letting go of self-sabotage. The apple always represents, as we know, even the apple waking up, coming into your truth, coming out of that uh, total innocence of the world. You are very innocent in some ways and very sensitive and fairy. Let's have a look what it says in the book, the Tree Angel Oracle deck about the apple. I'm hoping these are going to be in order. Well, it's number 20. Ha ha ha! 2020 vision. Okay? Start to understand that you're not a child anymore. You can see that in others. You can see others behaving like children. And you can easily berate them. But what about yourself? What about the little child inside that's scared? The little child inside that feels angry. The little child inside that feels guilty and carries on these patterns. So what I'm saying to you in the next two months, try to observe and write down your patterns. Try to take responsibility for them. Try to understand what's going on and as i say step four of the 12 steps if you haven't done it yet i think that's going to be very good for you so let's have a look at apple the apple the apple tree okay the apple 20. the apple tree has given joy and brought health to human beings for thousands of years as a member of the rose family the apple holds the secret of the earth the apple synchronized perfectly with the orchestral light of the sun. It also appears in the legends of King Arthur as the garden tree of Avalon, the Isle of Eternal Youth. Some of you are not ready to let go of that little boy inside, but because you're so extreme, you've forgotten how to have any fun. You've got to find the balance. Let that child come out, let them enjoy themselves. Stop being so serious, okay? This is the apple's role. You find your center, your inner sun, your confidence, your self-worth. Apple helps you to free yourself from guilt. What did I say? Burdens and memories. Could you live in this way for an entire day? Do at least try to be guilt-free. Try to be nice. Because a lot of you go into your shell cancerian. You shut off everyone. You're so sensitive. And sometimes if you get hurt, you can't trust again. I know because I've met a few of you. That can't, don't seem to be able to trust anymore. This is telling you to come out of that innocence, that childish attitude that you have been brought up to believe. You are not guilty. And you are to try again. Try again for, for one day just to be nice. Okay? It's, that's what the apple is symbolizing here. And the, the quick message here is health and joy, the light of the rainbow, the source of your very own worth, reborn and golden. This is why I'm saying to you, you need to start again, start to celebrate, start to have fun, do step four if you can, in order to give up so the, the past. So you do step four, you write down everything you feel, all your shortcomings, mainly your resentments, your angers, your fears, that things that have not worked for you, that you are blaming everybody else, and put that person down that is mirroring you. But the reason it worked for me is because I put down, I'm very angry at that person. And then I realized I chose that person to teach me something. I chose that relationship, me. <laughs> and the minute I realized that, that was it, it went. And then do step five, tell someone. Tell someone you know it's not going to hurt. Just pass it on and burn it. And move on. And start again. Be reborn again. Let go of all the old patterns, all the, the people, the messages that you were given. 
eternity and each moment, the breath of everlasting youth, the promise of the faithful son. <laughs> That's why you've got a lot of Leos in here. The sunshine, the power, the Leo that can go out and create. Uh, I think there's some jealousy here as well, I'd say. Um, inside of you and that's a shortcoming write about it so why why can't you find the leo in you and go out and create you know i, I, I just see people more as um human <laughs> time to reflect and to be generous generous in heart generous with if you have money spread it around a bit spread your gifts around you're coming into a celebration, a big celebration. Um, again, the card is for that. <laughs> Come out of self-sabotage by understanding that you choose everything and create everything. And it's time for you to let go of that now. Let go of that and start living again. Be reborn. Lots of celebrating. Create more balance in you. The physical uh, and the emotional balance needs to be balanced more. Create more balance in you in different ways. Something deceives you. People have deceived you, but it's time to let that go and start again. Be reborn so you can get your manifesting, grounded manifesting. Rest and recuperate. Play the fool a little bit. Have some fun. If you're having too much fun, then come back into balance. But be aware if you're not having fun. You should know. The mind can be very deceiving. Things, some, something must change in you from what I'm telling you here in order to get your happiness in the next two months to move on. Okay. All right, let's have a look now at Sri Baba. Sri Baba Hinduism, Hindu cards for Cancerians that are watching it. Your sign is all about the chariot. It's all about moving on. So why are you not moving on? And to move on, you can literally have tiny, tiny goals, tiny goals on a daily basis. If you don't know how to do it, then contact me. I'll do a reading for you. This is for every Cancer that's watching it, every Cancerian that's watching it. Sometimes you can be so extreme and too sensitive. And the cards are telling you, everything spirit is telling you here. Let go, be reborn. You know, just start again. Start again. Start to trust again. But yeah, assessing and handing over and burning the past and letting go. Okay. We got, I have to take care of my children day and night and give an account to God of every phase that's upside down you're not paying attention enough to your inner child i'd say okay some of you are not loving your inner child you think you are but you're not some of you some of you are some of you aren't some of you are not loving your own children enough and being grateful the swan here this is upside down the swan the beautiful white swan with her flock. Some of you are leaders, shepherds, and you're not shepherding your people because you can't, because you're living in the past. You're living in a way where you're, you're, you're mourning so much. You're not moving on. The chariot is about moving on. You're not moving on enough. Again, this will appeal to some of you. Some of it will, some of it won't. But I'm being told that my readings are pretty accurate. And people are getting quite a lot from them. So it might be worthwhile taking some of this information and implementing it. You are deceiving yourselves. You're not happy, some of you. Every time you shut yourself off and go into your little shell, if you don't take responsibility here, you can't grow. Some of you are going into your little shells and you're shutting off and you're in denial. You're in total denial of what is sabotaging your life. You can see it and love others, but you can't see it in yourself. And those of us that are stepping outside can see it in you. And that's why I'm doing these readings. Stop self-sabotaging for God's sake. Do you see something in someone else? 
It's in you. That's what I learned in the therapeutic community and that's what healed me. Now let's see if we can have a fairy card, beautiful fairy card. Here we go, wait for winter. During the colder months, the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good. So you might have to wait a little bit longer than two months <laughs> because winter is not coming yet, okay? So now's the time to grow things. Now is the time to really take responsibility, to come out of denial, to breathe, to, to try and figure out where am I going wrong? Where am I not steering my chariot in the right direction? And that's a lot to do with a self-assessment, a massive self-assessment of looking at what you're doing, taking full responsibility for it, but not with guilt because we all make mistakes and we can't move on until we realize it. And that's what I'm saying to you. The minute you take responsibility without the guilt and you give yourself to come into that beautiful new awareness out of the innocence by eating that apple and realizing it to do with, as I say, creativity, to do with your emotions, the sacral chakra, and the solar plexus balancing creativity and emotions, whatever they are, then you're going to have a better life and you're going to move on. As the fairy says, you will see your manifestations in the winter. Let's have a romance card for cancer then. If some of you are, are watching this because you want to know what's going on with your relationships, this is a lot of this is a spiritual reading. Uh, let's have a look at the relationship because you did pull the twin flame card. But it's not working the best to, your, to the best of your ability, as I said, because there's not enough happiness in you, yourself, to enjoy yourself, whether you're with your twin flame or not. You can't have the celebrations until you love yourself enough. And let's see what the romance card says. <laughs> Okay, here we go. One, please. <laughs> and it's upside down. So let's have a look. Okay, so it's saying, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. That is upside down. You're not loving yourself enough. As I said, some of you think you are. But the cards are telling you, no, you're not loving yourself. Because if you were loving yourself, then other people would also be loving you. Okay, and if you're not loving yourself and you're because you're not able to because there's been too much deception, now is the time to love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, you cannot get that relationship to work, it will not work. Your work won't work, nothing will work. But when I say love yourself, it doesn't mean that you deny everybody else, it doesn't mean that you're like become aloof and only, you know, and, and altruistic. It means that you love that part of you that needs healing. It means you love every part of you and you carry on regardless and you're kind to others. That's what loving yourself is. I think a lot of us, um, and your sign in particular, I've seen it lots of time with Cancerians and I've got people that shut me off completely one in particular was a friend for years and years and years because I actually said to that person they don't love themselves because they hated their body. They hated their body. And you know, that's the physical. But because I pushed that button and said, when you love yourself, you can love others. First of all, you've got to love your body. We love you. We think you're gorgeous. We think you're amazing. We see you. People see you but you don't love yourself because if you loved yourself, your cards wouldn't be like this. Self-sabotage. Deception. De the end. Not manifesting. Not resting. This is what you've been up until now. So I'm directing you to love yourself. And to be cut, as I said, Sri Baba was the same. Take care of your inner child, but don't become closed in. Stop shutting the world out. Because as I said, 
a lot of you people mirror you your friends your relations your families are going to give you these messages to help you love yourself but from what i'm seeing here you're not loving yourself and the best way to love yourself is to take responsibility for everything to understand it wasn't your fault you made mistakes to take a bite from that apple like we saw with the tree angel and there she is the apple take a bite from that apple of life whoops <laughs> and come out from that childish innocence and the messages that you were given as a child to start again be reborn so when people start to see that in you they'll love you more and your work will start to happen when you love yourself and you're doing what you really love you shine and then people start to love you more and people say that to me when they see me put on a message for example that isn't congruent with moving on tv they're able very easily to say to me uh, i can see that in you but they don't see it in themselves and we're all the love in the heart here we're talking to cancerians here if you watch this okay there's a lot of messages in here okay i'm going to have a look now at gemstone guardian cards so what are your the, everything is pointing to the same thing for the next couple of months for you to do okay all the messages are in here the biggest one is to write down everything and to really take stock of your relationships your character defects and your good parts as well don't forget that in a big way and then assess take responsibility let go of the past take a bite out of the apple be reborn <laughs> come out of the child little child that you can be that you see in a lot of others but can't celebrate in yourself a jealous scared confused little child right archangel uriel is beautiful the light okay i'm grateful my vital life force provides me with the energy and motivation to live life to the fullest financial abundance is mine my connection with divine is alive and well i'm energized healthy and strong and this is the quartz Are you ready to move forward? I said cancer is about the chariot and moving forward in life. Take the reins and move forward. You have the light around you. What's stopping you? You have the courage within you to move ahead with your ideas by getting the wheels in motion, the chariot. How synchronistic is this? To create your project or intention, recognize the amazing, powerful person that you are and shine on. That's it love yourself love your inner child do your your um inventories take full responsibility for everything in yourself without guilt <laughs> without sabotage We're playing the fool having fun with life being playful letting all this happen we're going to have a look at the message from heaven now A message from heaven. Okay, so yeah, the romance again, the romance reading was that it's going to be difficult for you to come to completion with the relationship because you cannot let go of the past. You blame everyone, or some of you blame yourself too much. So it's finding that balance. As I say, this is for all Cancerians. Some of you blame yourself too much, some of you don't take enough responsibility every single day can be different rebirth so let's see what your loved ones in heaven are saying and it's upside down try not to worry we'll bring helpful people into your life so you are worrying you don't trust that helpful people are coming into your life they want you to trust messages from heaven jackie newcomb try not to worry we will bring helpful people are in your life all the time they're there they love you 
they're ready, they're opening their heart. Take the opportunity to work with them because you've lost your trust. I understand that you've had a lot of deception and a lot of pain. But the minute you do that assessment and you realize where you go wrong as well, you'll be able to trust more people. Give people a chance. It's like, you know, I always give people a second chance. Always. I'm just going to have another sip of my juice. Mm. I always give people a chance, uh, a second chance, because people make mistakes, because you're human. Sometimes I give them a third chance. It depends. It depends if they would sit down and talk to you and clear it all up. And the cancer, unfortunately, cancerians, you find that difficult. You go into your shell. You hide away. And it's not helping you move on and guessing the manifestations that you deserve. Okay, so what haven't we done yet? We haven't done how to stay sane in the crazy world. Let's do one of those. Or have we? I don't think we have yet. We did quite a lot, but we haven't done how to stay sane in the crazy. Oh, we, we did. Oh, no, we didn't. Sorry, I'm thinking about the awakening. I did the awakening as well. Okay. Right, how to stay sane in a crazy world. These are the cards that I channel, which you can get from the Positivity Center in Ashton Lane or from me. Um, right, here's one. <laughs> Balance. What did I say? Balance. Balance keeps me sane and happy on a daily basis. Today is about coming back into balance. Imagine you've got a metaphorical scale that is running across your body from left to right. Now, are you in the middle of it or are you leaning too much to the right or the left? As I say, this is the thing. This is the general reading for cancer today. This is a reading for the next two months for cancer today. Okay? Um, it's not timeless. It's for the next two months for cancer today. And what I'm saying is you need to bring back the balance into your life. We said this. Um, don't go too much into this way or that way. Find the balance. Don't have too much fun or not enough fun. You need to find, it's all about balance. It's all about balance. And it's good. There's quite a lot of Libra and Aquarius. Libra and Aquarius and Gemini in here that can help you to bring in that balance. Because cancer on their own, they get lost. They hide away and they won't come out. Um, okay. Too much excitement and good feelings or too much sadness is not actually good for us. Can lead to being exhilarated and depressed. Try to be contented and still. My mother used to say I was like Mercury, up and down. Are you? Balance keeps me sane and happy on a daily basis. I'll say some of you have got that bipolar trait in you. So you go out of balance very quickly. So it's all about bringing balance back into our lives. I think that's it, guys. I think, um, uh, can we do an Oceanic Tarot? I've got some beautiful Oceanic Tarot for you. Let's do an Oceanic Tarot to end. And one fell on the floor, so I'm gonna use that <laughs> as your last message. But as I said, from the heart, oh, hang on, we didn't do an activation. From the heart, what I wanted to say to you, and this came out limbo, okay, and it's upside down. The hangman again, oh my God, the hangman again. But it was upside down. So some of you are not taking time out to reflect. I recommend that you get a piece of paper out and for a few days, like the next few days, you write and write and write. Write everything and a massive inventory of your life from the time you were born. All the things that have upset you, all the times you were unhappy, all the times you had resentments or fear or if you don't know how to do it, contact me, I will help you do it. I've done a few and it's completely changed my attitude 
in so many ways it's helped me move on particularly in relationships i would never have met my husband if i hadn't done a massive one on codependency and food issues that i had big issues i used to fall back on food a lot and addictions be careful because some of you can become so extreme you can either stop everything all in one go or fast and, and not take care of yourself. You have to have moderation. The same way as you have to have moderation in life. And you have to give everything another chance and, and just let yourself be reborn again. Um, before we go, yes, I want to do a sacral geometry activation with you. I will be sending this to, you, to the Cancerians that I know because I hope it helps you in the next couple of months because as the fairy card said, you just need to keep doing what you're doing um, with your work. The celebrations are coming, but stop the self-sabotage. Uh, and, you know, give yourself a chance to open again in a positive way, in a balanced way. Without, and, and, and so you can steer your chariot, the cancer chariot, the major arcana is the chariot in a good way okay right transition sacred geometry is transition so you are we're all transitioning you are transitioning i'm going to have a look at the book first of all i'll give you my intuition transition the frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence and our lives so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. There you go, you're changing, you're transitioning. But some of you are not giving yourself a chance to tune in to what you really need to change, okay? Some of you, some of you are on the right path and you're giving yourself that chance. And from what I've picked up today, Quite a few of you are self-sabotaging and, and I've given you a lot of answers here. Why? And the only way you can get out of that sometimes is by looking all the way back. You may need to go all the way back to the beginning and write down similar patterns, similar resentments, similar patterns that you have. Okay, but you are transitioning, changing the butterfly. I'm going to read 43. What does it say in the book to you? The frequency, oh, we already said that. You've got, it's going from one stage to another, as I said, it's impacting you. And here's a little exercise the book is giving you to help your transition. Take a moment to look at the transition image. There it is, look at it. How do you flow with the transitions in your life? What transitions are you afraid of? Look at the last transition that you went through and remember the gifts that came because of it. What will your next transition be? Go outside and see how nature goes through a constant cycle of death and rebirth in order to continue life. Celebrate your transitions. What did I say? We got the apple. It's time to be reborn without the crap. Burn the crap to transition. And some of you are not doing that. And that's why we got those cards in the beginning. So to recap, to recap, cancer, to recap. Let's just put these back. Okay, let's recap. So we started the reading with what is holding you back. We started the reading with what is holding you back. And um, those cards were... And I've put them back already, so I don't need to show them to you again. We, we started the reading with the fact that you tend to self-sabotage, that things, something has ended and it's finished. You're not celebrating, you're not having enough fun, or some of you are having too much. So again, we've got the twin flame to have some balance. We also said that you tend to hold on to your guilt and the mistakes that you made, the things that were put into you as children, you are the Peter Pan. You are the Peter Pan, but it's time to celebrate that Peter Pan 
to love it, to enjoy it. And you tend to see that in others and there is jealousy in you because you can't see it in yourself. You can't see your inner beauty enough. And you're incredibly, most of you are very talented and creative. And it's time to bring that out, but you're not able to do it because you're shutting yourself off. Cancer has a tendency to go into their shell, shuts himself off and doesn't see the opportunities in front of them. So I recommended you do a fourth step where you sit down and write everything down about your patterns, write and write and write for the next couple of days or weeks. Sometimes it takes longer. Sit and write from the beginning of time what your patterns were, where they started, how they started, resentments, anger, frustration, jealousy, everything. And of course, also your good points. But you need to look at your responsibility, your mirrors, what are they mirroring to you? And, and if they show you something and you see it in yourself, why are you so scared to admit it and work on it and admit it and start again? So give people a chance. You can be very extreme characters, Cancer, very, very sensitive. You can push people away and never, ever let them back into your hearts because you've had a lot of deception and a lot of pain. I get it. People have let you down. And one friend I had years and years ago, as I said, all I said to that person um, was, why don't you love your body? And when you love your body, then things will fall into place. That person hated their, their shell. They hated it. And so how could anybody love them? Okay, learn to love that part of you, all your mistakes, all your weaknesses. And you will come into that glory. It's coming. We saw it. Celebrations, balance. More celebrations, coming into your celebrations. And of course the fairy card said, in the winter, just keep going. It's not that long to go. So by the time we do the next reading, it will be autumn. <laughs> anyway, I love you lots and I hope this helps you. And today, of course, Miracle says, the power of decision is my own. So you decide. You decide. If you want some more help from me, please contact me at movingontv1 at gmail.com. I will do a personal reading with you. But this, I think, applies to a lot of you. So take care. Love yourself. Be that strong, beautiful cancerian that you can be, that sensitive, because you have such a, an amazing sensitivity. A lot of you are healers. A lot of you are beautiful artists that you write poetry, music, creative, but you need to allow us in, okay? Don't just shut yourself off in your little shells and say, oh, I'm not coming out. Or when you do come out, go back in, it'll still be inside that shell. Anyway, as I said, some of you, not all of you, you'll know what I mean when you read this. You'll know if it appeals to you. I'd, be like, I'd like to hear some comments. I'd be very happy to know if this appeals to you in some way, I'll get it out as soon as possible because um, the cancer sign. Well, today is more or less the 21st of June. So I think you're coming into, we, this is where cancer comes in mainly and ends um, more or less the 21st, 22nd of July. Um, and as I said, you know, you, you're very intuitive. You can be very intuitive. Uh, your a major arcana is a chariot about moving forward, but you do hold yourself back a lot of the time by becoming pessimistic. You can become very moody, very pessimistic. You can shut people off and not trust after you've been hurt. Look, guys, we've all been hurt. We've all been hurt, and your intuition is very strong. But sometimes you shut it off with your sense of poor me and the mistakes that you think you've made and the hurtful things that people have done, the deceptions you've been through. So time to come out of that. This is The Awakening. Love you lots and I hope this works for you. Take care now. Please subscribe, share, like <laughs> and moving on with The Awakening. Bye-bye.